Hey guys, today we're in Strasburg, PA, getting ready to head into the Choo Choo Barn and see a gigantic miniature train display. Now this place has been here since 1961 and we're pretty excited about checking it out. So are you ready to go in, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Okay guys, I'm here with Christy, who's gonna tell us a little history about this place. Hi, I'm Christy Largoza. My, I'm actually the third generation here at the Choo Choo Barn. My grandfather started it back in 1945, actually, with a, a train that he brought home from the war for my Uncle Gary. Um, it became the family hobby. They would add to the layout. It moved to the basement. It took over the basement. Uh, the kids from the school would come every Christmas to see it. And in 1960, the Strasburg Railroad opened up the road just two blocks. Uh, there was a little barn here that was available and my grandparents said, well, what would happen if we opened it up to the public? So they did that on Thanksgiving Day 1961. The admission was 50 cents and a quarter at that time. And we, as they say, the rest is history. This is our 60th year. When we moved it here, well, when they moved it here in uh, 61, it was about 600 square feet. We had six trains, six animations. Today it's 1,700 square feet. We have over 150 different moving parts and 22 trains. And all of the, the animations are hand built. It, they were actually, I would say 95% of what, in there, what is in there now was built by my, by my dad, Tom. Um, and he has hand built everything. He was able to take uh, regular scale building plans and scale them down to what you see inside. Everything from the people hammering um, on the Amish barn, those were started out as lead figures that he would cast and then he would cut off the arm, run a wire, put the motor underneath. So everything, like I said, has been hand built. It's really been a, a work of art, a labor of love. So we hope you enjoyed it. We did enjoy it. And can you tell everybody out here where it's located as? 26 Gap Road in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And that's Strasburg, S-T-R-A-S, Bird, not we always get confused with Stroudsburg. So we are here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, among the Amish, and we have lots of other great train attractions in the area as well to see. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Pretty good size. We're gonna walk all the way around it see what all it has. A little baseball game going on back there. Look at that, Bobby. Yeah. You can see the player running back there. Yeah. Look, here comes Batman. There is Batman. There he goes. We'll catch him again when he comes back around. Paving the roads. Here comes Batman right now. He stopped over there. Here comes Batman. There he is. Okay, this is a Turkey Hill Market and they have the gas station there and the market. And if you look over, they have the changing gas prices. And this took yeah. them 100 hours to build. That's hard to believe. That is neat. On down through there, there's a school bus. As we head down this way, we're coming to a zoo. There's a lot of detail to that zoo. Let's see if we can see any of the animals moving in there. I see the giraffe moving in the front. Let's check out the giraffe. And the elephant. That's, see, that's neat. Oh, there's the lions are moving too, aren't they, back yeah. there? Yeah. 
lot of work. Here we have a working barn. Over here to the left, we have a mountain. Some people skiing down it. Too much to look at. Here we have some live goldfish. Some muscle cars up there. Looks like they're building a house up there. Now it's getting dark. Every so often the lights go down. Here we have Dutch Haven, famous for their shoe fly pies. Looks just like the place. A nice pretty church right beside it. Here we have some Amish people working. Let's in on and check them out. I'll look at these Amish guys one more time working on this building. This is so far is my favorite thing. Here we have Dutch Wonderland. There's your sign. You got some rides in there. You got your parking lot and some rides that are running. And the train that goes around the park. Yeah, there's a train. Let's see if we can zoom in and look at the ride. There's a little sky ride taking people across. Might be. That might be like a log. Yeah, it looks like a log jammer. We've never been here to the park, but wanting to go this year. If we go, you guys are going to end up going with us. Here comes the monorail. 
have some illegal drag racing going on here. A bunch of old muscle cars. You even have the sounds of them. We have some people outside on their deck enjoying watching the trains go by. Up here you have a hot air balloon. And over there you have a jet flying around. Here we have the local fair. We have a scrambler. Ferris wheel. And a merry-go-round. What do you do, Bobby? You push these buttons to operate the trains. Yeah. And the carousel. Oh, yeah. And we have another little pond out there with some goldfish. It looks like we have a circus going on down here. Let's get out here and see. A lot of animals down there. And it looks like the circus is coming to town. They're coming around on the track. Here comes the circus. Check out the daredevils. One there, and you have one right up here. Look at him. A little too high for me. I have another tent. We have America's largest circus sideshow. There's a lemonade stand over there. Got the clowns all coming in. We have the third tent. A lot of stuff going on in there. parade going by. Looks like a military parade. How cool is this? We got a plaque in here with all these thank you letters to the owner from Frank Sinatra about six of them in here. Frank was a crane collector himself. Here we have a nice little town recreation. Have your ordinary living. Loading up the train. Putting some beams on it. Right above me, we have that jet flying. There. I like this church out here. This church. Too much to see. Mm -hmm. 
check out this awesome fire scene. We're gonna have the house on fire, then we're gonna have a fire truck come out and put it out. Those the firemen. Praying water, look at that. Fire is out. There they go. That was neat. Here we have another farm scene. A boy out here flying an airplane. Tractor being unloaded to go to work. Someone planting tobacco. It's a lot of stuff to take in. Horses down over there. There's a lot of stuff, guys. guys That's the penguin in the front. That. Here we have another view of the skiers. And this trolley that's going up the side of the mountain right there. Here we have a machine shop. Look at that guy working down there. There are some Boy Scouts working on their merit badges. Swinging over the water. Coming down to the end of this exhibit. Like they're putting up signs. Kitchen Kettle Village, we've been there. 
an ad for Hershey Farm. This guy's putting a roof on, Bobby. Here we have the train station. Everybody riding up the escalator. Get on the train. We have the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation busy at work here. Putting in a new road. Get them out there. It says Old Glory, long may it wave. There's your band playing back there in that gazebo. Look at that. Little park. These are all the former presidents. They're detailed. And it looks like them. There's Trump, back in the corner. There is Kennedy, the third one over. We're here in the control tower, which frankly tends to disappoint because it's not some big computer system. It's just a switchboard. Um, which is over here where we turn the animations on and off. Over here is what's called the rheostat and I won't pretend to actually know what that is other than it makes the trains go whether fast or slow. You can turn it up and down. Um, this, is a, this is what runs the sounds that you hear out there. So uh, this is, these are like little MP3 players that my dad converted into what you hear. And then over here, this is probably the most three interesting things. This is the this drum is turning now because it's turning on the nighttime scene. So that's what operates the nighttime and turns on the stars and the, the vehicles and everything. This up here is what operates the fire scene. So this drum will turn and every time it hits one of these switches, it activates something, sends the door up, sends the truck out, turns on the lights, starts the fire, all that sort of stuff put on the smoke. So each of these numbers has a specific job. Uh, and then this fancy contraption was actually built by our train guy, Eric. Um, and this is what runs just the Strasburg Railroad. So it's very complicated. Um, I, I won't even try, <laughs> but that's what, it, right. that's what runs the railroad. Very nice. Nice little gift shop in here. And all kind of train stuff, Bobby. Bobby's in here somewhere. Oh, I get some Christmas train stuff. Look at those Santa Claus puzzles. Trains. It's nice. Wow, that was a fun trip inside the Choo Choo Barn. What did you think, Bobby? I really enjoyed it. There were so many different trains going around, but there was also a lot of moving pieces. The, I like the part where the men were on the roof and they were That's building, cool. you could see them move. Also, they were moving animals in there. It was really neat. I like the Dutch Wonderland. That was neat. That was really cool. And the uh, ski lift. Ski lift, but also that house that caught on fire was yeah. awesome. <laughs> and we missed it. We kept yeah. hearing the siren go off. We didn't have a clue what that was. And we were done with it and they asked us if we saw the fire scene and we didn't. So we had to go back in and <laughs> check it out. And it's well worth checking out that scene. And we'd like to thank Christy for taking the time to show us how this place works. Yeah, thank you for your time today. And also, this place is open seven days a week. They st start tours at 10 o'clock in the morning. The last tour is at four, but the gift shop opens until five o'clock. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.